Good evening and welcome to the Southwood County Recreation Center for the season home opener of your Wisconsin Rapid River Kings on Wisconsin Rapids Community Media and Hockey TV. I'm Paul Kennedy with you tonight alongside with the best broadcast team in the league. We have Art Nagetsik, our producer and cameraman, along with Jeff Conklin on the camera, and as always on the soundboard we have Mr. Matt Fillmore. River Kings are off to a good start in season six. They're looking to continue their strong play. So far, they're tied for first place in the USPHL Midwest West Conference, along with the Minnesota Moose and the Minnesota Mullets. We're preparing right now for a ceremonial puck drop here. So we hope that you're ready for the broadcast and an exciting season here for the Wisconsin Rapid River Kings. So big win on the road last night. The, the River Kings beat the Ducks 8-1. to one. And uh, as we look back at last night, the highlights, the River Kings uh, want to thank their fans, host families, and sponsors for their support throughout the start of the season. Especially want to say thank you to Grace's Family Restaurant, and I believe some of their staff may be here this evening. I'd like to thank them for their warm-up jerseys for, before tonight's game. So last night we had... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven goal scores for the River Kings as they scored eight goals. And uh, over three on the power play, they'll look to improve on that, on those opportunities tonight. So the Dells Ducks got one goal. Goaltending continues to be solid for the River Kings and net mining squad, uh, combined for a 2.00 goals against average on the season so far. Ethan Blackburn enjoyed his first night. Uh, first win of the season last night, allowed one goal on 15 shots. So we'll see how Sever does in goal for the River Kings tonight. Your starting lineups for the visiting Dells Ducks. Uh, number seven, Brown. Number three, Richardson. Number four, Hurd is the forward line. Defenseman is uh, Patton and uh, Kuttner on defense, number 21. Back in goal is Lundquist. I apologize if uh, the pronunciations are not real clear on those. So it's the first game of the season for me as well. So, For your hometown, Wisconsin Rapid River Kings, forward line tonight will be, we'll be starting out number 27, Cook. The hometown boy in center, number 9, Flamini. Number 16, Utec. Back on defense, we have uh, Carol Jurgens, who's having a great season so far, along with Jordan Steer, and then Seaver back guarding the net. Looks like the young, youngsters are making their way out onto the ice now for with Rowdy for more ceremonial puck drops. Hope everybody's ready for an exciting night of hockey. Introductions are done now for the youth hockey team. I believe we may be speaking to them a little later on. Uh, good to see the kids out here enjoying an evening at the rink. So tonight's the only opportunity to see the River Kings here at home this month. They'll be on the road after that. Uh, we'll be back in November for some uh, some games here. I think we have four home games in November, and then the boys will go back on the road again for a little bit, and then back again in December for a game before they break for the holidays. And then after the first of the year, we'll have quite a few home games right here from the Southwood County Recreation Center for your enjoyment. So, okay, great job with the team there for the ceremonial puck drops. Everybody gets out now, gets one more quick skate around to warm up. Rowdy's trying to fire the crowd up along the boards. Our officials are at the scorer's table now discussing official stuff and we'll see what uh, what the rest of the night brings here for us. So, River Kings will be skating from left to right uh, on your camera tonight. Wearing the, uh, the home white uniforms. Visiting Dell's Ducks will be in the black uniforms skating right to left for our first period. 
Hey, River Kings pounding the boards now, getting the, getting teammates fired up out there. The officials are calling everyone to center. Goalies are ready to go. Hope you are ready at home here as Flamini skates in now for the face for the faceoff. And the first win for the night goes to the River Kings off the draw. UTech now knocks that down into the zone. Big check along the boards. Takes a check from behind now. Picked up by Cook. He'll dump that into the near corner. Back behind the net now. Picked up by the by the Ducks. Taken away now by the River Kings. Collision along the far boards there. Comes out. Over to the point now. Great block by the River, by the Ducks player there. Passes it down to Steer. Steer sends a, a soft shot in, kind of a pass towards the far side. Comes back to him up top here. Sent in on net, saved by the goalie. Lundquist got a good piece of that, but a big rebound comes back out. Up to the far point now. Down along the far walls at the half boards. Back behind the net. River Kings players rubbed out behind the net there. Steer will pick that up. He eludes most of that check and is able to move that puck back behind there. Good time of possession down in the, in the offensive zone for the River Kings. Ducks try to move that out now. It's knocked down by their own man. Now they clear the zone, come out to center ice. They'll dump that into the far end, goes back behind the boards. No icing on that play. The River Kings will pick that up. Looking to move that up now. They send it all the way to the length of the ice. Actually, the shot gets on goal. Steered to the side by Lundquist. River Kings four check in there to get that. McCoy's got that now. He'll send that back out to Stevenson. Stevenson gets a shot on goal. Pick up back behind the net now. Dell's Ducks have that. Back behind the board now, a lot of play back behind the net, which is great. River Kings are really controlling the pace right now, folks. Centering pass there, stopped by, by Lundquist, comes out. Dells aren't able to clear that for about a minute and a half into the game. Picked up here now by McCoy, he'll send it into slot, shoot, shot goes wide. Dells picked that up, they'll try to move that out along the boards, they're, and they're able to do so. Comes to center ice now where Krieger picks that up. He'll chop that back in now, picked up by the Dells players. That's number 19, Finn. He'll send that in for a big, high, easy shot for the goaltender there. Back behind the River Kings net now, far corner. Moving that up. Pass just slightly behind McDonald, but he'll make move with that. Official kind of gets tied up in that check there. River Kings get that puck through the crease, not able to get anything on it. Shot on goal from the point. Sent back out. Dumped back in by the River Kings now. Along the half boards, Ducks will start to move that up. Dumped into the, into the River King zone now. They'll come out along the boards. McDonald's got that. Moves that up for uh, Pro, for Proster. Along the near boards now, just in front of the scorer's bench, River Kings have control. They'll make a play back in their defensive zone with that. Start to move that up now. Here comes number 28, Proster again. Down into the corner now. Milius has that. Sell will send that back in. Big night for him last night with three assists. Looking for him to continue that trend tonight as the Ducks bring that through the zone. Shot on goal there. Goaltender will glove that down, set that aside, where it's picked up by number 23, Shonicky. Shonicky's a big boy, so we're looking for some uh, big defensive play out of him this year. River Kings dumped that in his zone. Good pace to the game so far. River Kings have to hold that at center ice, so they'll be offside. They've cleared the zone now. They'll get it in. Puck bounces around just wide to the right of the goalie. Comes up now. Big hit there. Patton comes through for the Ducks, and he's got that down in the near board. Sends that on net. River Kings will, will pick that up. Battle along the near corner there at the half boards. Still working. Good battle down there. River Kings get some, uh, Hartley gets a nice check on their play. And the Ducks get on the board there as it comes out and they fire it over the goalie's shoulder. one nothing Dell's Ducks. All right, there are the Dells are Ducks are off to a quick start last night or tonight. Back to center ice now. Flamini will take that draw. Ducks win that one. They'll pick that up along the far boards. Third, 
Goal scorer on that goal for the Ducks was number four, Hurd. Four shots on goal for each team right now. 15-58 remaining in the first period. Draw comes just to the right of, of the River Kings goaltender. Jordan Steer picks that up. Decides to send that around and that'll come back out clearing the zone. Flamini picks that up. Sends that down the length of the ice. Steer gets run into the boards hard. He's back up again though, folks. Don't worry about him. Jordan's a tough kid. Back behind the net now. Ducks start to move that up out of the zone now. And the River Kings will start to bring that in. They cross the zone. Turnover now. Ducks pick that up. They've got a two-on-one right now. River Kings looking to get back. Great play there by, by Harold Juergens to uh, break that up. River Kings now come back the other way, two-on-two. Two. Heading towards the net now. Flamini gets a shot on goal, saved by Lundquist. Rebound drops in front of him. He'll cover that up. We'll get the whistle with 15-11 remaining in the period. Five shots on goal for the River Kings, four for the visiting Dells Ducks. One nothing Ducks right now. Face off in the far corner. Cole Krieger will be in there for the River Kings to take the draw. And the Ducks win that draw there. They'll skate it back behind their net with, Steve, with Krieger right on him. He manages to get control of the puck now. Sends that in front. Stevenson's tied up there, unable to make a play. They'll keep it back behind the net now. Good check in the corner by Krieger there. A lot of checking going on. Stevenson just took a run of the guy there. Good check. Back behind the net. The Hinton's picking up now, folks. The uh, River Kings want to defend their home ice here. and Stevenson sends that back behind the net. Krieger's still in there battling. Number five is in there now. That's Blair. Sorry, check that. McCoy for the River Kings. My apologies, Mr. and Mrs. McCoy. Sent out to center ice now. River Kings pick that up. They'll dump it back in. They'll make a line change now. Out onto the ice. Here comes number 28, Proster. Number 10, Jordan Steer stays out. Number seven, Harold Jurgens. He's got the puck, gets by him. Devil, Devil's Ducks players pick that in. Devil's Ducks? Dell's Ducks. River Kings will pick that up. Jordan Steer's got it at center ice now, heading into the zone. He'll drop that for Stevenson. Stevenson can't get that to the net. Steer will pick that up. He'll try to bang that in. Big crowd in front of the net now, piled up. Nets off the, off the moorings. There's a bit of a collision down there. 13.55 remaining in the first period. <laughs> okay, getting ready for the faceoff now in the near corner of the defensive of the Dells Duck Zone. It'll be number 28, Proster out to take the draw for the River Kings. Back behind the net now. Ducks pick that up. Unable to move it, bounces off the dasher. Tries to get that out and they do. Clears it the length of the ice, so officials wave off icing. Jordan Steers back there to pick that up. He'll dump that to his defensive partner, Jurgens. Jurgens sends that up out of the zone. Big collision through the center of ice there. And the Dells turn back around and head the other way. They'll send that in. And we'll pick up an icing call here. We'll take it back down to the Ducks end. On the ice now for the River Kings, number 23, Shanaki. Number 22, Smith. Number four, Max Moore. Number 14, Zach Hartley. And number five, McCoy. Check that, 15. Face off now. Both teams pounding the boards. We have 13-23 remaining in the, in the first period. Face off comes back to Shanaki. He can't get a shot away, so he'll send it back behind the net. Battle back behind the behind the goaltender now. Two two members of each team back behind the net. 
Ducks come away with it. They'll send that up out of their zone. River Kings gain control. They'll dump it right back in. Dells clear the zone now. They'll get it out to center ice. Smith making a, a battle on the puck there. <clears throat> Looks like uh, Hartley took a uh, took a fall there. Looks like the puck may have come up and hit him in the face mask, but he appears to be okay now. We'll get the uh, the first call of the night though. Ducks will pick up a penalty to number 13. Richardson picks up two minutes for roughing. River Kings will be on the power play now with 12.48 remaining in the first period. It's a two minute power play here. Faceoff will be at the far, at the far faceoff circle in the offensive zone for them. Comes back out to center ice. River Kings pick that up now. Jordan Steer directing traffic. He's hassled in there by the Ducks player. He'll turn and use that speed to get back down through the offensive zone now. Skates it back behind the net, looking for some help. Still looking, looking. Jumps that, drops that off now for Cole Krieger. Krieger sends it back to Steer. Steer looking to make a move here. He'll send it back to Krieger. Krieger can't control it, and it's chopped out by the Ducks with 133 remaining in the power play. Slow down now, back behind the, uh, the Ducks. Check that behind the River Kings goal. And they'll move that up ice. Jurgens dumps that into Krieger. Krieger can't handle that. McCoy picks that up. McCoy's looking for some help. Trying to set this up now. They got a guy in front of the net. They got two guys in front of the net. Need to start shooting, and Shanaki does. Gets it up there. It flutters up over the goalie harmlessly. Back up into the corner. Along the half boards now. And there's a call on the play. One minute remaining in the in the power play for the for the River Kings. Looks like we're going to be evening that up now. So there's a wasted opportunity there as Stevenson takes a penalty. One minute remaining. Or the teams will skate four aside for one minute, and then the Ducks will go on a power play for one minute. River Kings start to move that up out of their own zone now. The hometown boy Flamini's got it along the near boards. Back behind the net. Crosses it through center, gets it through a lot of traffic there. Shawnee takes a shot, that's wide of the goal. Hartley picks that up, he'll send that to Shawnee. Shawnee will move that back through center ice now and passes that along to number 27, Cook. Cook's got the speed going down through the far boards. Back behind the net now, still controlling the puck. Now gives it up in a little battle back here in the near corner. Ducks players try to clear the zone. They're unable to. River Kings send that back in further. Good check along the boards there. Knocks the man off the puck, but the Ducks control it. River Kings get it now. Flamini sends that back behind the board, or behind the net now, where number 27, Cook's battling for it. Good job by him. Penalty is over for the Dells Ducks. Hey, River Kings take a shot on goal, and it's saved by Lundquist. Unable to get to the rebound. 54 seconds remaining on the Dells power play. 10.42 remaining in the first period. Seven shots on goal for the River Kings. And they've managed to hold off the, uh, the Ducks. Haven't had a shot in quite a while. Let's hope it stays that way through this power play. Linesman calls everybody over to the far face-off circle in the Ducks' end. Smith in there to take the draw for the River Kings. Puck drop. Smith wins that. Back to the point. Jurgens can't hold it in the zone. He'll bring it to center ice. Turn it back around. Steer's got it now. He'll send it down the length of the ice. Take some time off that penalty. That's a great job there by Jordan Steer. Good awareness. We got 40 seconds remaining in that penalty. Dells try to move that now through center ice. Butner's ridden off the puck there. Good check. Back into the corner now. 
River Kings players got that. That looks like number seven, uh, Jurgens. Butner's got it now at the near point. Can't do anything with it. Sends it back into steer. Puck's bouncing around on him. He can't do anything with it. Now the River Kings have an opportunity. They'll bring it up through center ice. Here comes McDonald. He's off to the races, folks. Big play there. Good job, both guys battling hard for that puck. Good, good hard play. Uh, now we got a little slashing back behind the net. Looks like uh, number five, Patton, is uh, coming after uh, McDonald there. Puck comes down on the other end. No call on that. They're going to let him play. So River Kings go down in the corner now. That number seven, Stevenson. 17, Stevenson. Looks like a uh, Dells player was injured on a play there. Looks like number... Looks like number 18 for the Ducks is down. Sorry. Uh, maybe 19? That's Finn. Okay. So Jaron Stevenson picks up a slashing call there. That's a five minute major call. That's not a great penalty. That's his second one so far of the evening. He's going to need to learn to be a little bit more disciplined than that. So this, uh, unfortunately, these five minute power plays can be pretty costly to a team. So let's hope the River Kings can, build, can uh, pick their teammate up. Okay. Aguilar for the Ducks. Passes that through center ice. Now Ducks trying to get something set up here. Jordan Steer goes down in the corner now along with Aguilar. Aguilar gets that up to the point for number five, Patton. Patton goes to skate that in. He sends that in on net. No goal there. Blocked by the defensive player. Krieger's got it now. Good job there playing the man. Aguilar still has it along the near, the near side half boards. Dumped out of the zone there by number 12, Cole Krieger. River Kings will make a much needed line change here with 4.07 remaining in the penalty. Ducks getting set up back behind their net. They've got one guy at center ice now, four guys coming back through the zone now. Soft pass there to number four. Taken off there by number 22, Smith. River Kings will regroup here as, as Brown for the Ducks picks that up along the near side boards here. He's ridden off the puck there. Good check by number 23, Shonicky. And the River Kings clear the zone, send that down the length of the ice. They'll get back for the line change here. 7.55 remaining in the first period. Three minutes and 23 seconds remaining in the penalty. River Kings battling now. McDonald's doing a great job here along the near half boards in front of the benches. Ducks player picks that up, drops it back behind his net for his partner. And they'll start to skate that up. Still 1-0 here in the first period. Good check along the boards there. Down in the corner now, Jurgens tries to clear the zone, is unable to. Comes out along the near side now. Picked up by UTech now. He's really flying, folks. He can't get the puck to settle down for him, but he'll make the pass through there. Just bounces over the stick. So Flamini just wasn't able to get that puck to settle down for him. Now the River Kings had a great shorthanded opportunity there. Back behind the net now. Jurgens still can't get the puck to clear. It's just not his night when it comes to that. Wow, did we take a big check there. UTech gets knocked down, but he's right back up again. Here come the River Kings now. Flamini on a breakaway, sort of. He's taken off by the uh, by the uh, Dells player. No call on the play there. That looked pretty. Su that looked pretty suspect. That looked like he had uh, he had his hands all he had his stick all over his hands. But they're going to let that one go. Ducks now at center ice. They'll pass that back over. Along the near board now, Salem has it for the Ducks. He'll, he'll absorb a hit. Shanaki issued that, and the River Kings will uh, pursue again here as the Ducks have the puck. 147 remaining in the penalty. 
6-14 remaining in the first period. Big check there by Zach Hartley down into the far boards. Puck shot the length of the ice. Easy stop by Lundqvist. He'll leave it for his defensive partner. 133 remaining in the penalty. Six minutes to go in the first period. 1-0 Dells Ducks. River Kings have spent quite a bit of time this period on the power play, or on the penalty kill. Ducks have it now just inside the blue, the blue line. River Kings will pick that up and dump that out. Both sides will get a line change now. Here comes Brown. He's got that, he passes that back to number 23 for the for the Dells Ducks. He'll send it on to number eight, Jones. Down into the near corner now, picked up by Jurgens. He just can't get that puck to clear the zone tonight for some reason. Big shot out at the point, covered up by the goalie and we'll take that glove save there. 41 seconds remaining in the penalty. Five eleven remaining in the period. One nothing Dell's Ducks right now. River Kings had the had the pressure on early, and now the the almost back to back penalty kills have uh, have slowed that down a little bit for them. But they're they're doing a good job keeping most of the play towards center ice or in the offensive zone. So. Ducks win that draw, back behind the net now. Picked up by the River Kings, can't clear it, comes out to Butner at front, big save there by the pool tender. Kicked it into the corner, along the near boards now. And now the River Kings pick that up, they'll send it down into the far corner. Lundquist will, will slow that one down. His defenseman comes back to pick that up now. 15 seconds remaining in the penalty. If the River Kings can kill this off, that'd be huge. One more chance on the penalty kill on a power play for the Ducks. They'll come through the zone. Four and three, two, one. And that's a great penalty kill for the, uh, for the River Kings. Four minutes and 25 seconds remaining in the first period. River Kings, big cross ice, uh, cross -ice pass. Checked in in the corner. Picked up now by Cook. Into the far corner, still has it. UTEC battling down there. Goes back behind the net, shot up into the air. That's at eye level for us now. And drops back down where Jurgen's got it. And he's able to clear the zone there off the boards. River Kings will start to dump that back in. Three minutes and 45 seconds remaining in the, in the first period. Dropped out to center ice now. And Official blows the whistle. Let's see what they've got here. Seems to be some uh, conversation at the bench for the visiting team. The referee is pointing at individuals. Those individuals are not necessarily agreeing with the call, but we would like to invite you to enjoy your stay in our penalty box. Okay. So the River Kings will go on a power play again. 0 for 1 on their first try, but they'll take this one. Too many men on the ice call. Shot in on there, and Lindquist will cover that up. Battle in front of the net now. Game's getting a little physical now. Jurgens has it, looking for some help. He's going to have to hustle back now. Puck shot softly on the backhand on net. River King goalie will swallow that one up. Hold for the whistle. 128 remaining in the penalty. 313 remaining in the period. Linesman's got everybody ready to go over in the far face-off circle of the, Del of the Dells offensive zone. Flamini wins another draw. Goaltender will help knock that one down now, and River Kings will try to start to move that up. 
Hartley back behind his own net. River Kings still looking to make it up through the offensive zone. They turn it over now in their own end. Dells will just bring that out to center ice. Aguilar will dump that back in, try to rack some time off of that penalty. River Kings pick that up. Here's Zach Hartley looking for some help. Skates it through center ice. He'll dump it down into the zone. Cook's down in there to pick that up now. Up to Flamini. Flamini back to Cook. Cook's got it again down in the corner. Looking for a little help here. He'll skate it up towards the blue line. Hartley's got it now at the far point. Set it up well. Oh, just unable to connect on that shot. Back through there now. Hartley's calling for the puck at center at the center of the blue line. He'll send that in. It bounces back around. It's hung up there by, by uh, Lundquist. Official blows the whistle. 29 seconds remaining in the penalty. Two minutes and 13 seconds remaining in the first period. Eight shots on goal so far for the, for the Dells and 10 shots for the River Kings. Face off now, far circle. Krieger's in there to take the draw and he'll win that back to Jurgens. Jurgens will pass that over to Steer. Steer will pass it back to Jurgens, looking to set that up. Nothing there. He'll hold it. Steer's got it again. Pass just a little bit behind. He'll see if he can get a wrister away. Decides not to. 15 seconds remaining in the, in the penalty. Shot on goal, scores! They didn't call it. That looked like that went in. My apologies. That sure like that looked like that went in. Shot there. Back out the, the Ducks clear it. Penalty's over. Yeah, that sure like that looked like that went in the net. But okay, either way, one and a half minutes to go in the first period. Collision down in, in the half boards here. McDonald will skate that away now, coming to the Dell's end. Good move there to get by the defender. In the corner now. At Cell. Again, he had a great night last night. Puck comes out around the boards. One minute to go in the first period. Dell's up 1 nothing. Proster goes to clear that out of the zone and gets it out to center ice. Picked up by McDonald. Turnover now, Dells have it. Shawnake comes back, kind of ties up the man. Gives McDonald a chance to get back there and pick that up. Pass goes through the skates now, back behind the net. Little assist there from the referee. He kicks that out. And two ducks run into each other. River King still looking to get something going here. Sells got it. The one-handed play back behind the net. That gets picked up now by the Dells. They'll bring that up with 25 seconds remaining in the period. Good defensive play there by, by Hartley, not letting the Dells into the end. It looks like they went off sides. Just over 20 seconds remaining in the first period. 12 shots on net for the River Kings. Eight shots on net for the Dells Ducks. River Kings win the draw now. Jurgens has that. He'll try to move that up into the zone. Max Moore can't control that. Puck comes back out to center ice. We're under 10 seconds to go. Jordan Steers got it. He'll just shoot that harmlessly down the, puck, down the ice where Smith will pick that up. He'll chip that into the zone, and that's the end of the first period, ladies and gentlemen. With the Wisconsin Rapids, River Kings zero, and the Dells Ducks one. Welcome back to the Southwood County Recreation Center, ladies and gentlemen, as we prepare for the second period of action between the Wisconsin Dells Ducks and your hometown Wisconsin Rapid River Kings. After one period, the Ducks hold the advantage, 1-0. River Kings will be looking to storm back here, though, and have the, uh, have the hometown crowd getting back in. We've got a good crowd here tonight. So, next home game, I believe, is November 5th. So make plans to bring the family down here then. You'll be right on top of the ice here. So teams are out on the ice now, stretching out, warming up. River Kings have, uh, have had a great season so far. They're looking to continue that here. So second period. 
you're a little further away from the bench, from your bench in this period, so you, line changes will have to be a little more strategic. You don't want to get caught out of position. Give the other team an easy opportunity here. Looks like the linesmen are starting to gather everybody up here. We start this second period, nobody on a power play. At the end of the first period, there was 12 shots for the Wisconsin Rapid River Kings, while the Wisconsin Dells Ducks had eight shots. Hometown boy Flamini now steps into the face-off circle. Linesman look to the goaltender, check to see if he's ready. Look to the River Kings goaltender, make sure he's ready. Crowd's rolling, and here's the drop of the puck. Flamini wins that. He's had a great night in the face-off circle so far. Jurgens will pick that up, dump that into the zone now. Dells Ducks will pick that up. River Kings will get that now. Jurgens chops that along the boards. Dells players try to send that out. They're unable to. Now they get it out to center ice. Cross ice pass all the way across to the far boards. Hit by the River Kings player. Referee's got his hand in the air. And it looks like Mr. Cook's going to uh, sit in the home penalty box for hooking. Two-minute call for hooking there. 42 seconds into the period. River Kings had a huge penalty kill in the first period, killing a major slashing penalty. Steers got it now. He'll pass that up. Stevenson's rubbed out along the board. He's able to get back to the puck. Tries to center it. Stopped by defense. Backhanded shot now. Lundquist makes a save there. And the Dells will start to bring that up. Out to center ice now. Steers along there to pick that up. He's got one man on him. River Kings will pick that up. They'll send it down the length of the ice now. Minute 35 seconds left to go in a penalty. Ducks players setting this up now. Fresh sheet of ice. They turn that over now. Stevenson's right there. He's had a rough night so far, so good to see him make a play. He'll come back in now. Goaltender swallows that one up. He'll hold that off to the side for the faceoff. Good idea when you're shorthanded. Just control the flow of the play. Swallow that puck up. Let the linesman call the blow the whistle and uh, take the faceoff. We'll be in the near side face-off circle here. River Kings take the draw and they'll win that. Up through center ice now, here comes McDonald. He'll backhand that into the zone and he'll chase that back behind the net. Got the speed going there. The Dells Ducks our players aren't able to catch up to him and he's causing them some havoc down there. Ducks players now bring that up. Nice back check there from the, from the River Kings. Back behind the net. Kings will pick that up, and they'll send that down the length of the ice. Good play there, 45 seconds remaining in the penalty. Ducks players cycle that back around. They'll start to move that up, chip that back in, and here comes number 16 driver along the near boards. He'll send that over, can't get a shot away, comes up to the blue line, shot in on net, can't make anything go there. Puck goes wide behind the net, and River Kings pick that up, send that down with 22 seconds remaining in the penalty. Line change here. Remember those line changes are important, especially when you're shorthanded. This is shot the length of the ice, and that should be icing. No. Ducks player takes a shot on goal anyway, and Jordan Steer lets him know that maybe you don't want to do that. You know, one thing I will say about the River Kings here is they've done a good job sticking up for each other. There's uh, Jurgens in there with Steer. They've, uh, they they want to send a message to the other team not to go taking cheap shots at their goalie like that, but they do want to uh, maintain that control and controlled aggression. So. 12 seconds remaining on the penalty. 17.50 in the second period to go. 12 shots for the River Kings. Ducks have only managed one shot on this pen in this penalty here. Power play. Seems to be some confusion on the, deck, on the Ducks bench now. Face-off won by the River Kings. Jurgens will pick that up. He'll shoot that back around. Stevenson tries to chip that out. It's held in. 
He'll get it out now as he's dumped by the by the Wisconsin Dells player. Penalty is over. Good job on the kill there as Butner starts to bring that back in. He'll shoot that wide of the goalie. Stevenson along the far boards will pick that up. He'll chop that out of the zone. And here's an opportunity now for McCoy. He picks that up. He'll get that down in the far corner. Centers it. Shot on goal. Scores! What a goal, ladies and gentlemen. The River Kings buried that one on a great broken play for the Dells Ducks. And this game is all tied up now. And that's good to see Cole Krieger knock that one in. Great shot there. That goalie had no chance on that one. That thing was humming to the back of the net. 1-1 now. 17-22 remaining in the period. And that's a great way to come off of that penalty kill. Krieger now still fired up from the goal, and he'll be out there to take the draw, and he wins that. Cole Krieger's having a good stretch right now. Oh, check that. It was McCoy that got the goal. Krieger gets the assist. Puck down into the, into the corner now. Jurgens picks that up near the blue line. Backhands it along the glass. Back behind the net. Stevenson's got it. Ducks will pick that up now. River Kings can't hold the zone. The Ducks will bring that out now. Here comes Aguilar, number 20 through there. He'll shoot that high. Knocked down by the goalie, and that must have gone up to the netting. <laughs> All right, one to one now, 16 41 remaining in the period. Neither team had a man advantage at this point. Face off in the near circle. Shawnicky will pick that up, take that back behind the net. River King players knocked down there, that's number 19. Brought up now, Sell will try to knock that up into the zone. Comes out to center ice, it's sent right back in. Goaltender will start to play that. Now the River Kings defense will come back to help him out. And here comes Sell, let's see if he can make anything happen. He sends that forward, puck just off of McDonald's stick. Back into the zone now, River Kings got it. Here comes Sell, he's rubbed out along the boards. Both he and a defensive player take a, take a spill. Into the corner now, back along the far corner. River Kings are skating from our right to left this period. Sell so will try to center that, covered up by the goaltender. Whistle blows, we'll get the face off with 15.53 remaining. Scores tied one to one. Faceoff will come to the at the far corner of the River Kings offensive zone. That's one by the Dells Ducks. Goes back behind the net. Jurgens able to hold that in. Moore sends that into the far corner. Rubbed out along the boards. Big check there by the River Kings. Nice job by Moore there playing the man. Okay. Comes out now along the far boards. Ducks will start to move that out. They'll shoot that into the, into the offensive zone. River Kings pick that up, and here comes Milius. Milius has got it now. Can't do anything with it. It's turned over to the Ducks. Comes back out to center ice now. Moore will pick that up. Chopped along the boards, and Milius has got an opportunity here. He comes in. He's covered up by a defenseman. Can't get a, can't get a shot away. Into the near corner now. Moore's got it. River Kings starting to put on the pressure. Milius puts a nice hit on there. River Kings will send that in, hoping for a bounce, and doesn't go. Along the far boards now, Ducks will start to bring that out. Cook in now, he's got it. Tries to backhand that into the slot up for Flamini, can't go. Comes back around the net now, still looking to try and make a centering pass. Gets it out to Flamini now, gets it shot on goal, saved by the goaltender. That's covered up. The officials will call for a faceoff. 14.43 remaining in the second period. We're all tied up at one to one here. River Kings have 15 shots on goal. Visiting Dells Ducks have nine.
Face off now, near circle, won by the Ducks. They'll shoot that back behind their net, out to the far side boards. Shawnake makes a play on that, sends it back behind the net. Flamini will pick that up, sends that into the corner. Looking to make a move here, number 16. He's tripped up on the play, no call. That leads to a Ducks breakout. They're on a two-on-one, coming down the ice. They take a shot on goal. Rebound, save after the save. Sent back in, into the near corner now. Hartley in there, working against his man. River Kings makes it, managed to break that one up. That's number 27, Cook, with a chance there. He skates it all the way across the other side of the ice. He's going, coming in on the backhand now. Now switches to forehand. Shot on goal, covered up. A little quick on the whistle there as that popped pop back out. We've got a little dispute in the corner down there. Seems we can't seem to figure out, should we get our Polito's pizza with sausage or pepperoni? Thirteen fifty-five remaining in the period. Near side face-off circle in the Ducks' end. Krieger will take that. Taken away by the Ducks. Pass to the linesman. He can't play the puck, so the Ducks will. They're rubbed off the puck there. Big check there by Jordan Steer. He knocks the man off the puck there. Good job. River Kings now into the near corner, applying defensive pressure, not letting the Ducks have any room down there. And that'll pay off as Jurgens is able to start moving that up. He'll pass that along, nobody there. Stevenson looking for a breakout here. He gets that over, two on one now. Oh, just can't make the feed to McCoy. Just missed that pass, that would have been a wide open net, folks. He's right back on the play though, here come the River Kings. Starting to turn up the heat now. Ducks will try to clear that down and they'll ice it. They're try, just trying to get the pressure off. You can really feel after that goal, River Kings are starting to pick up the momentum now and the Ducks are quacking. Mm -hmm. Faceoff will come down here to the near boards. Near faceoff circle, Proster take, will be in to take the draw. Ducks player gets bounced out of there. They'll have to send in the replacement. River Kings come away successfully with that. Hartley shoots that back down into the far corner from the blue line. Back behind the net now. Sell battling hard. Ducks are able to clear the zone. Here comes Hartley, he's got a man coming on him. He gets it across the ice. Goaltender will help out with the assist on the pass there. Ducks will turn that back around and send that back in, the, in behind the net. River Kings now should be able to get the speed going here. Here they come through the offensive zone. Back behind the net now looking to center it. Proster's in there to help his, play, help his teammate out. He'll pick that up. McDonald's in there battling with him. McDonald's had the speed going tonight. We hope to see that turn into some good results on the score sheet for him. Center it, ain't not able to get a shot away now. Here come the Ducks players. That's number five, Patton. He's greeted rudely by two of the River Kings. And the River Kings will pick that up. Back along the far half boards now, McDonald's charging hard in there, trying to make a play. And that puck will come up out of the zone. Here comes Sell, let's see if he can turn on the Jets. And he is able to, he gets the shot off just far, uh, just wide of the goaltender on the left. 12 minutes even, remaining in the period. We take a quick break in the action here as the teams make head to the bench and make line changes while you're making that uh, quick change to the, to the benches there. Now would be a good time for fans to head down to the souvenir stand and check out the awesome line of Wisconsin Rapid River gear. Back to hockey now. Max Moore is invited to lead the face-off circle. Looks like Milius will come in and step in for him. Ducks will win that face-off back behind the net now. Along the near half boards. Cook's in there battling. Check that, Smith. Good battle by Smith there. River Kings are able to hold the puck in the zone. He skates all the way across the half boards now, makes a play on that. Gets the shot to center ice. Salem for the, for the Ducks brings that down out. 
River Kings deny that. They send it right back out to center ice. 11.26 remaining in the period. Aguilar can't get anything going there. Ducks still have possession of it in the River Kings zone. Comes out to center ice now. They're not able to do anything with it. They'll just dump it harmlessly back in behind the net. River Kings will pick that up now. And here comes Jordan Steer. He'll move that up. He'll skate that all the way down to the offensive zone. Chips that back behind the net now. Smith will go back there and battle for that. Along and near boards now. River Kings players dump. Player go, puck goes all the way over to the far point where Shonicky's got it. He'll send that back in. Cook in there now, looking to pick up some change here. Flamini in there helping him out. Up to the point where Hartley's got it. He's looking to take a shot. He's got nothing. Passes that over to Utec. Utec will take a shot. That's chipped up into the air. Goes harmlessly up and over the goaltender's shoulder. Back behind the net. Oh, Utec with a big hit there. Back behind the net now. We've got a little uh, a tie up. A service again been recognized by IBM Watson Health as a top 15 health system. Everybody will skate away here. This is there for you with more after a conversation. Yeah, you play back-to-back -back games, you know, sometimes you make friends on the other team and you want to make sure that you know they're welcome to be here. Folks, the 50-15 raffle pot is up to $500. Don't miss your chance to take home half the pot tonight. You don't want to miss out. 10-23 remaining in the second period. Scores all knotted up at one to one. Linesmen are talking to some of the Ducks players at the blue line. Also in the third period. They're not talking to River Kings players. That's usually a good sign. Okay, Cole Krager here at the near faceoff dot to take that. Ducks will come away with the puck. River Kings picked that up. There's Jurgens. He's having a good night handling the puck. Back behind the net now. Number five, McCoy, absorbs a check in the corner. Drops the stick, picks it back up. River Kings try to battle to keep that in the zone, but manages to come out. Jurgens has it. Sends it off the boards out of the center ice. Jurgens back behind his net now into the far corner. Passed out to center ice. Ducks aren't able to control that. River Kings are. They've got a chance. Here's Krieger with a shot. Oh, good save there by Lundquist. River Kings will pick that up at the near corner now. Ducks grab that. They'll shoot it out to center ice off the glass. Picked up by the River Kings. Krieger's trying to make a move with that. Stevenson's got it down in the far end. Let's see what he does here. Ducks player narrowly avoids the check there. Stevenson was trying to be a human wrecking ball on that play, and the Ducks player ducked out of self-preservation. Still in the Ducks end now. Sell gets a nice check on his man. Proster fans on that one. He'll, pass, he'll get the pass across to the far point. Steers got it now, down into the corner. They'll move it back up towards the, the face-off circle. Now back behind the net. Jurgens picks it up. Petco for Sears B Violet Photography is the referee stops Petco. play with 8.55 remaining in the period. In Senior pictures and family portraits. Contact B Violet on Facebook or Instagram. River Kings have 16 shots so far this game. Contact B Violet on Facebook. Visiting Wisconsin Dells, Ducks have 12. Down on the boards now, trying to get something going. River Kings in the near face-off circle. Looks like Proster's in there to take that draw. That comes out now, bounces around the slot. Ducks will pick that up. Comes out to center ice, back into the River Kings zone. Hartley will pick that up. He'll make the two-line pass back up to McDonald. McDonald will backhand that into the zone. Sells in there now, good on the forecheck there. Great job pursuing the puck. Big battle back behind the boards now. River Kings come away with it, even though they're out man back there, three to two. Good job by them. The other River Kings have a lot of heart, folks. They uh, they don't give up on battles very easily, and it paid off for them there. Eight twenty-seven to go.
Faceoff will come at the far faceoff circle in the Ducks' end. Coaster wins that, comes out to the point. Shonaki picks that up. Isn't able, to isn't able to keep it in the zone. Now Hartley comes back and picks that up. He's got a man on. Shoots it hard off the boards. Comes back out. Now the, the Ducks are able to hold that in the end. River Kings player just, Naris Shonaki just barely misses the check there. Ah, he gets it back this time now. Centering pass. Nobody able to control it. River Kings finally do. They'll send that out of the zone, out to center ice. McDonald just unable to get it by the defender there to, to take off for the uh, for the offensive zone. Comes back to the River Kings end. Sell puts on a nice check there. Battling along the board. Sell has it now. Out to center ice. Referee gets tied up in that check there. We hope he's okay. He's shaking his head. Here come the River Kings now. Into the other end. McDonald shoots. And it looks like that, that it looks like the goaltender made the save. Net comes off the moorings. There's a good opportunity for the River Kings. Just couldn't connect on it. So with 7.25 remaining in the second period. Faceoff will come in the near faceoff circle of the Ducks end. And that's one by the River Kings. Ducks get that away now. They'll start to send it up through center ice. Steer may have gotten away with one there, but that's okay. As the River Kings bring that out. Max Moore makes that pass out. Here's Jordan Steer now with a chance. Shot gets up into the netting. Whistle's blown. 7.02 remaining. Been a little bit of a chop the last few minutes in this game. Not a lot of flow, but that's okay. Far face-off circle now. Max Moore in for the River Kings to take the draw, and he'll win that back to Jordan Steer. Back behind the net now. McDonald picks that up. Milius has it now. Looking for some help. Finds Moore open back behind the net. He'll try to center, gets a shot on goal, rebounds out in front, nobody can get hold of it, River Kings do. Not able to connect on that shot now, they're giving up a two on one. Back behind the play now, the referee has blown the play dead. All right, so a good opportunity for the River Kings there was, uh, or a good opportunity for the Dells Ducks there was broken up as uh, number eight Jones is gonna go to the box for two minutes for charging. Two minutes for roughing. <laughs> so the River Kings go back on the power play now. About time to make one of these connect. Six minutes and 40 seconds remaining in the period. Faceoff will come in the duck zone. This would be a good time for them to light the lamp. Faceoff comes and goes down in the corner now. Stevenson's got it. Back behind the net. He'll send that back along the up the far point. Now skated to center ice. Shot on goal by Jurgens. That was a little head hunting there. That one was up and high, and the goaltender ducked again. River Kings aren't able to clear, aren't able to hold the zone. They'll take it back out to center ice and regroup. Here comes Jurgens with that speed, looking to set that up. He'll get it to Krieger. Back behind the net now, along the far boards. Jurgens had it. Let's see if he can wind up for another big shot. He'll pass that off instead. You've got one minute and 15 seconds remaining in the penalty. Here's that shot. Bounces through a jumble of people. Doesn't get it on net. Through the slot now. River Kings applying a lot of pressure. Just can't get a lot of uh, a lot of good shots on goal. Puck comes out of the ends as Steer is not able to get near that one. Here comes Jurgens. Passes it off the dashers and up to Steer. Good speed there. Looks like McCoy took a, a check there. He'll get the puck here. Pass it in front. Scramble now for the puck. It's still loose. 
And now there's a dispute in the net there. McCoy gets uh, a little riled up. They're going to need to separate. Not a good idea when you're on a power play to do this, but... Cooler heads prevail now as the, as the linesmen have everybody separated. 39 seconds remaining in the penalty to the Ducks. Referee and linesman in the scoring area now. At the scorer's table discussing that situation. Let's see if they're going to call penalties on this or not. Still discussing it. While they're discussing that, we have 5.19 remaining in the second period. River King still on the power play for another 39 seconds. If you're looking for a great place for breakfast, go check out Grace's Family Restaurant. Had the uh, chicken fried steak this morning. That was awesome. Along with some scrambled eggs and some hash browns. They got some great coffee. You should definitely check them out when you're in beautiful Wisconsin Rapids. Linesmen are skating away now, and uh, looks like they have decided not to call a penalty, and I think that's a good call, you know? River Kings will win that draw there. They center it, puck, saved by the goalie. Lundquist is still covering that up. Now a bunch of people fall down. All right, so now there's a bunch of used hockey equipment out there. We'll be chucking those pucks at the beginning of the next intermission, and don't forget that the concession stand is still open. There will be points to stop along the way. Okay, a lot of standing around. Trying to figure out what we're doing. Nets off the mooring. Back on the mooring. Linesman calling everybody over to the corner now. Flamini will get ready for the draw, and the River Kings will win that. Into the far corner. River King's got that now. Send that up. Skating it out of the corner at the half boards now. Back down to the corner. 15 seconds left to go into penalty. Need to get a shot away here. Back out there, Shonaki's got it. He'll send it back into the corner. Fire that shot in on that. Easy save for the goaltender. Comes back to the corner now with five seconds remaining in the penalty. River Kings applying a lot of pressure. Good time of possession down there. Trickles in on the goal. Not, nothing there. UTech will pick that up. Back to send it back behind the net. Puck is shot up and into the netting. Penalty's been killed. 4.30 to go in the second period. Each team has one marker on the board. All right, ready for the faceoff now in the near circle of the Ducks' end. McDonald gets hold of that. Comes back out to the blue line. Chip back behind the net now. River Kings control that. They'll skate it out the other side here. Proster's got it. Shot in on goal. Saved by Lundquist. Covered up. We'll get ready for another faceoff with 4-12 remaining in the period. Proster in to take the draw now. And he'll win that. Comes back to Jurgens. Jurgens looking for a shot. Got nothing there. Back to Proster. Turned over to the Ducks now. Turned back over to Proster. He's kind of a big guy. He did a good job picking that puck up. 
Through center ice now, here come the Ducks. Brown's got it. He'll shoot that. Uh, goaltender covers that up. We'll get ready for the faceoff. 3.55 remaining. Not the most challenging shot there, but the goaltender's still able to control it. Okay. Getting ready for the draw now. Craigers in to take that. Along the near boards, battling between both teams. Steer in there, putting the check on his man. River Kings come away with it. McCoy chases it. His counterpart, number five for the Ducks, has it now. Coming through their defensive zone. River Kings send it right back in. Ducks player falls down in the middle of the ice. Broke his stick. Weak shot in on goal. Saved by the... Uh, River Kings goaltender, 326 remaining. 19 shots for the hometown River Kings, 13 for the visiting team. Face off now, far circle of the River Kings end. River Kings come away with it now. Here comes Stevenson, he's had a rough night. Be great to see him score, here he scores! What an outstanding shot. He put that up on the top of the net. And now there's a dispute over in the corner. Everybody's upset. But the good news is the River Kings are still ahead. Two to one. Still some conversation going on there about whether they thought which River King goal was better, the first one or the second. I would say it's the second one because that puts us ahead right now. Great shot there. 319 remaining in the second period. <laughs> Referee to the bench now. Talking to the scorer's table. Krieger will pick up a penalty, it looks like. Still a conversation going on with the linesman and the Ducks players. The River Kings are out to a 2-1 lead now. Krieger is also picking up a two-minute minor. They haven't said for what yet. A lot of time on the penalty kill tonight for the River Kings. Still early in the season, but you really want to tighten that up. I'm sure Coach Cordos will have them... Uh, them working on that during practice this week. River Kings are usually a pretty disciplined team. Face off now at center ice. Smith unable to win that. Ducks in the other end now. Shot down in the net, behind the net of the Ducks. They'll pick that up, coming from left to right now. Skating it through center ice, they'll dump it in a far corner and chase it. Steers all over that. He'll pick that up. Call on Krieger was two minutes for roughing. Ducks will still control that now. Here's number seven, Brown with it. He'll dump that off to number 19. Jurgens has it now. He'll chop it up along the boards. McDonald unable to get to it. Ducks are still controlling it in the near corner. Now it comes out front where Steers got it, and he'll send that out of the zone. Good job. 2.19 remaining in the period. Just under a minute to go on a penalty kill. River Kings have an opportunity here. Shorthanded. He'll shoot. And the puck is, the net is taken off the moorings.
And let's see if there's a call for this. The River Kings clearly had an opportunity to score there. Referee with his hand in the air. Stevenson now talking to the official, trying to find out what happened there. Doesn't look like there's going to be a penalty called. As the linesman lines back up for the faceoff in the far circle. McCoy's there to take the draw, and he does. Ducks, however, pick that up. River Kings are going to have to hustle now. The man's getting past him. Falls down on their play. Bad clearing attempt there by Shanaki, but it gets out of the zone now. Looks like we have a... Uh, an injured player for the Ducks down along the boards. That's uh, number 20. Looks like Aguilar. Maybe a little banged up. He's up on his own power now. Skating to the bench. He's coming off the ice now and maybe heading to the uh, maybe heading to the dressing room. Two minutes to go in the period. Still 41 seconds remaining on the Ducks power play. Faceoff now will be just outside the River Kings blue line. Hometown boy Flamini in there to take the draw. And he wins that, but it comes down into the Ducks' end. They'll send it back into the River Kings zone, back behind the net now. Picked up by the River Kings in the near corner. Good play there by Shanaki. Rubs a man out along the boards in the, in the near corner. 18 seconds remaining in the penalty. River Kings not letting the Ducks have a lot of time of possession here. They're not able to do a whole lot with it. Hartley falls down. River Kings, goaltender makes a save there. Puck in the far corner. Two seconds and one, and the River Kings have killed yet another penalty. Shot on goal, kick to the corner. Covered up here by the goaltender, and we'll get the whistle. Line change now, coming out under the ice. Number 27 is Cook. 16 is Utech. Jurgens number seven, Jordan Steer out there. 113 remaining in the second period. We're gonna line up for the faceoff here in the in the far faceoff circle. A little bit of confusion there on the players' parts, but the River Kings Flamini wins that draw. He's got to be excited for his first hometown game here in front of uh, in front of the crowd. Puck out the center ice now. The Ducks will pick that up. They'll shoot that in. Kind of a soft shot, but it kicked to the corner there. Just under a minute to go now. River King starting to use that speed. Now here comes Utech. Takes the hip check along the board, but manages to get some, get away from it. Shoots it up and into the netting. 46 seconds and change left in the second period. River Kings lead, two to one. 20 shots on goal compared to 14. River Kings have the advantage there as they do on the scoreboard. A little bit different feel in the game last night when the River Kings won eight to one. Much tighter contest tonight, which you would expect. River Kings now to take the draw. Ducks win that, back into the corner. Flamini tries to dig that out. Utex in there battling. Flamini in there tries to help him out. River Kings hold that in the zone. Good play by Cook to do so. Here comes Flamini. Not able to get a shot away, but the River Kings still holding in with 27 seconds. They shoot, they score! Harold Juergens from just inside the blue line puts that up and in. River Kings have a 3-1 lead. Great shot there by Juergens. He, that one was a seeing eye shot, so he really made that one nice. 
25.8 seconds left to go. They'll get ready to line them back up again at center ice here. Max Moore will be out to take the draw along with Milius, Palomares. Jurgens and Steer back on defense. Steer will pick that up in the far corner. Jurgens will, will send that back to him. In the far corner now. Out of the zone. Max Moore throws a big check. Ducks will shoot that up and back into the end, back behind the, the net. Jurgens chops that back around. Two seconds and one. And the second period's over. A little shoving and disagreement now between one of the, the uh, number 57, Salem, and uh, number 15, Polomares, for the River Kings. Much better period for the River Kings there. They'll finish up with 21 shots on goal at the end of the second period, as well as a 3-1 lead. Ducks have 14 shots. And we'll be back in just a few minutes with the third period. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. As we prepare to start the third period, River Kings take the ice. They'll be skating left to right this period. Still waiting on the visiting Ducks to make their way to the ice for the third period, and here they come now. River Kings have a 3-1 lead as we prepare to start the third period. Period will start out, 21 shots for the River Kings, 14 shots for the visiting Ducks. Teams will start at even strength this period. There's no go nobody in the penalty box as of now. Referee blows the whistle now. Getting the teams to clear the ice. Linesman's at center ice now. It's been a very competitive game tonight. So good to see the River Kings up on top. Jurgens really made a beautiful goal that at the end, towards the end of that last period. River Kings have also done a great job on the penalty kill. Let's hope they don't need to use it again tonight. As they come to center ice, here's Flamini to take the draw. And away we go. Ducks will win that draw. Nice move there by number four. He'll shoot that in. Block it off to the corner now. River Kings will pursue that. Jurgens picks that up. He'll start to send that around. Ducks are able to hold that in along the far boards. Battling for it now. Jurgens gets it back. Send, sends it into center ice where it's picked up by number 27, Cook. Cook will skate that down into the visiting team's end. Along the near boards now. Steer will chip that back behind the net. Flamini pursues. River Kings are able to get that towards the blue line now. Steer not able to control it. It's picked up by the visiting team. Cook now ridden off the puck by the visiting team. Picked up now by number 57. Tries to send it in on net. That's blocked. Good job by the defense getting in there. River Kings will start to bring that back to the other end. Centering pass. Shot on goal. Saved by Lundqvist. Back behind the net now. Fresh sheet ice. The puck squirting around. Into the near half boards. Good battle there. Shaunaki working hard. Shot wider than that by Flamini. Ducks aren't able to control that. They can't clear the zone. River Kings will send it back in. 18.44 remaining in the period. 3-1 lead River Kings. Ducks send that out now to center ice. There's still a broken stick laying at center ice. I'm not sure why the linesmen haven't picked that up quite yet. In either case, Lamini will pick that up just inside the red line. He'll send that back down. Now Stevenson with a head of steam. He'll come in and run his man into the boards there. Nice clean check by him. River Kings can't clear the zone. They can't touch it. They'll be off sides. They clear the zone now. Comes down now to the other end. We'll find offsides. And that draw will come back to the visiting team's end. 18-19 remaining in the period. 22 shots for the River Kings. They've come storming out of the gates this period. 15 shots for the visiting Ducks. 
Krieger at the first off circle on the near side here to take that. He wins that draw. That'll come to McCoy. He's not able to control it. Defenseman ties him up. And the Ducks will start to skate that up and out of the zone. Off the boards now. Back behind the nets. No icing on that play. River Kings will start to move that. Good job there. Riding their man off, off the puck. Uh, apparently not. Maybe they're going to make a call here. And it looks like Cole Krieger's going to pick up another penalty. <laughs> Krieger will pick up an interference call on that play. 18.02 remaining in the second, in the third period. Draw on the River Kings end. Ducks win that. Back behind the net. Into the far corner now. Jordan Steer wins that battle. Comes out, crosses it through center ice. Probably not a great play there, but shot in on net. Left of the goaltender. Just wide. Ducks will pick that up. Looking to make a play here. They get it out to the point. Shot on goal. Blocked by, by Jordan Steer. And he may be hurt. He looks like he's, he's hurt. That puck looked like it came up and got him. He's up on his skates now. That's good to see. Not sure if that was the puck that got him or if he maybe took a high stick, but he's up and off under his own power and he's back on the bench now. <clears throat> Number 23 for the Ducks will be in the box here. That looks like he'll pick up a two-minute minor. Roughing call against the Ducks player. So that'll kill their power play. A minute and 31 seconds left to go on Krager's call. Two minutes to go on the visiting Ducks player. Shanaki now will hold that in. Ducks player dumps that out down the length of the ice. Jordan appears to be okay on the bench. He's not, uh, he's still there and still has his helmet on, so I'd say he's probably going to be okay. He's a pretty tough kid, so. Down to the opposite end of the ice now. Flamini will come in for the draw at the near faceoff circle. Has Shawnee and Hartley back on the points. Ducks win that. They'll shoot it back behind their net. They'll look to clear the zone, and they do. Hartley's got it at center ice, backpedaling. Passes that off now. Utex got that. He's not able to control it. Ducks players pick that up. Big check there at center ice. Ducks player gets a shot, but it's blocked by the defense. Flutters back around the backboard. The, the Ducks will keep it in the zone. They'll look to set something up. Oh, and a big check there by Flamini. He knocks the man off the puck. And here comes Hartley with an opportunity here. He'll try to make the pass, and that's taken. he's taken out by the defense. At the near circle now, Ducks pick that up. They'll shoot it off the boards. They'll get it to Utec at center ice. Makes a bad pass there, cross ice. That's okay, he's made a lot of good passes tonight. River Kings will send that up, chip that into the zone, back behind the net in the near corner. Cook there to make the play. Not able to get a, uh, get a puck on there, on net. Now there's a call. Looks like the referee's calling a hand pass. 16-21 remaining in the period. 19 seconds to go on Krager's penalty. 48 seconds remaining on the visiting Ducks player. So in 19 seconds, the River Kings will pick up a, a brief power play. Cook in here to take the draw now. Puck sent along the boards. Salem now for the Ducks, picks that up at center ice. He'll rush that into the, into the opposite zone. Trying to get something going. Five seconds to go on, on Krager's penalty. Battle back behind the boards now. River Kings come away with that. And the penalty has been killed. River Kings are on the power play now. They're rushed down here. Centering pass. Can't make that go through. Back behind there now. Shot in on net from Smith. Kicked out to the right of the goaltender. Out to center ice now with 10 seconds remaining in the penalty. McDonald skates it back in again. He's been strong on the skates tonight. Back behind the net now. He's taken out by the defense. 
two and one, and that will kill the penalty off. Ducks maybe have a breakaway opportunity here, but the goaltender comes out to make a good clearing pass. Prevents any opportunity from the Ducks to get down there and take a shot. Ducks controlling the puck in the offensive zone now. Shoneke in there, tying up the man along the boards, not letting him have any room. Good job there. Hartley go back to get his stick. He fans on the, on the clearing attempt. Now it's moved up. Held inside the blue line by the Ducks. Where it's sent back behind the net. Shoneke tries to chip that around the man. It's unsuccessful. Centering pass comes out. Stopped by the goaltender. Back into the corner behind the net. Picked up now by the River Kings. Shot along the boards where it comes out to number five, Patton. He shoots that thing way wide. Knocked down by the River Kings. Off the glass and up. River Kings possibly with an opportunity here as they're back two on one. Can't get anything going there. Jurgens is going to need to come back and make a great play, and he does. Preventing the, the offensive player from getting in. Referee blocks that shot for us. Not helping us out there, but that's okay, ref. Shot in there, backhanded towards the net. Goes nowhere. Down to the near corner along the half boards, and the River Kings clear the zone. 14-25 remaining in the period. 3-1 River Kings. Jurgens, the puck just scooted away from him there. He'll find it now. He'll shoot it off the boards behind the net. And they'll clear the zone now as, as Stevenson comes up. Sell with a chip into the zone. Sending pass. It's great save by Lundquist there. Ducks bringing up ice now, and they're off sides, but nobody calls it. He may have just barely stayed on sides, but River King's dangerous backhand pass through the zone there. Comes out to center ice. Ducks pick that up. They'll shoot it back in. Along the boards now, referee has his hand in the air. Referee's pointing at somebody. And he sends Stevenson to the uh, to the penalty box for the third time tonight for an interference call. Thirteen forty-seven to go in the, in the third period. Ducks will pick up a mysterious uh, penalty pit, uh, power play here. Not sure what the interference call was on, but okay, away we go. Okay. River Kings now look to move that up. Here comes McCoy. He dumps that in. Back behind the net now. Ducks start to get in formation. Salem has it just inside the River Kings blue line. Passes that down to number 16. He's rubbed out along the boards by Shawnee. Ducks players down behind the net. Hard time controlling it. Net comes off the moorings. That'll, put, that'll cause a stoppage in play with a minute and a half left to go in the penalty. Wisconsin Rapids Community Media is your source for Wood County and Municipality Government Media High School Sports. That's been knocked off of there several times tonight. So don't forget to join us November 5th for the River Kings next home game as we get ready for the face off here and the River Kings win that. It's a great night out here at the, at the rink. Puck shot up, out of play, into the netting. We'll do it all over again. It's a great night of family entertainment here at the, at the River Kings. And uh, I believe Saturday night you still get to skate after the games. So uh, good fun evening for the whole family. If you folks look really hard, you may see our producer, Art Nagetic, out there skating around as well. Look hard. Shot there, blocked by the defense. Ducks looking to control it in the far corner. Good battle back there. Ducks come away with it. They try to center it. That's unsuccessful. And that out to the center ice now. Brown has it. Pass that along to number 57, Salem. He'll just chop that down into the zone. Let his teammates pursue it along the far boards. Into the far corner. Behind the net now. And the Ducks clear that attempt on their own. 40 seconds remaining in the penalty. That pass is behind the player. Good four check down there by McDonald. He's out number two to one and still, out, and still manages to uh, outplay that. He comes away injured though. Smith must have taken a uh, must have taken a slash there. It looks like no call on the play. Long shot on goal. 
Goaltender just covered that up now with 10 seconds remaining in the penalty. Hopefully Smith's okay. He looked a little banged up after that last play. Eleven fifty-seven remaining in the penalty in the period. Face off now. Shot on goal. Waffle boarded into the corner by the goalie. McCoy tries to get that out of the zone and does. River Kings kill the penalty off. Great job by the penalty killing unit. Here comes Milius. He'll send that down into the zone. Proster in pursuit. Now Milius in pursuit as well. Nice turnover there. Sell picks that up, keeps it in the zone. Sell's a little upset now with a uh, little upset there with the uh, the way he was treated in the corner, and he lets his opposing player know that. So Sell back to pick that up. Good battle back behind the net now. Not sure why there wasn't a holding call there. River Kings definitely their stick was held. Referees decide it's time to blow the whistle and uh, gain some control of this. They're going to call uh, Milius for holding. So I'm not sure why the why the Ducks did not get a holding call on that. They were clearly holding the River Kings player stick. So Luke Milius takes the penalty. 11:08 remaining in the third period. Three to one River Kings. Face off to the right of the goal of the River Kings goaltender in the far end. Krieger knocks that down. Still pursues the man along the far boards. Jurgens in there. Unsuccessful in his attempt to get the puck away. Ducks player skates that out. Tries to feed it to his player back behind the net. Doesn't go. Jurgens is there with that long reach to, to break that up. A lot of time in, in the zone by the, by the Ducks right now. Jordan Steer takes that. Looked like he took that off the side of the helmet. He's having a little bit of a rough run out there. So, Good battle along the corner here. Even though the River Kings are outmanned right now, they're outplaying the Ducks in my opinion. They're uh, not letting them have any room. So clearing attempt goes off the heel into the stick and doesn't make it out. Ducks will still have control. In towards the net now. And here we go. River Kings now. McDonald's got it at center ice. He'll dump it cross ice into the far corner. He's taken out by number 20, Aguilar. Aguilar got knocked down on the play there. River Kings hold that in. Aguilar struggling to get to the bench now, and he finally does. Coming up now, back into the other end. Butner for the Ducks tries to bring that in. Is unsuccessful. Goes back behind the net. Ducks have one man on the front porch. They're trying to, River Kings are trying to get that cleared up. That bounces off the net. Comes out to the far point. Shot on goal, blocked. And the River Kings will clear the zone. 10 seconds remaining in the penalty, 9.15 remaining in the third period. Three to one River Kings. And the penalty's over, another good penalty kill by the River Kings. So even though they've taken some uh, some penalties tonight, they've done a great job on the power on the power play, or check that on the penalty kill to make sure the other team's power play is not effective, so. Three to one right now, goaltender back behind the net, he'll stop that, hold it for his defensive player, that's Jordan Steer. Jordan Steer feeds that up to number five. Down along the far corner now, here comes Stevenson. Let's see if he can score. He does! What a great play there! Stevenson just dribbles that in. Nice goal. River Kings dominate this one now, four to one, with under 10 minutes remaining in the game.
So you got to feel good for that young man. He's taken a couple of penalties tonight, but he's come back and helped his team out on the scoreboard. So perhaps all is forgiven. Linesman over to the visiting and referee over to the visiting team's bench now. Coach wants to have a conversation with him. So 8.39 to go in the third period. River Kings have 23 shots on goal. Still waiting for the conversation to end at the bench. Ducks coach is upset, He's pleading his case. Not sure it's going to get him anywhere, but. Sure, as you can see on the uh, on the camera, our crack crammer crew has a, uh, a great view of the action going on down there. And hope the kids aren't watching. It's a very passionate game, folks. <laughs> Penalty box is open now for the visiting team. It appears as if the visiting coach has been invited to leave. And he'll make his way out to the cheers of the hometown crowd. Aguilar will, will step into the penalty box to serve that bench minor. A two minute penalty there. 4-1 River Kings. The downside of all this is, folks, is that it really starts to take away the River Kings' momentum. You know, they just score a, a, a crucial goal there, and uh, now it gets all tied up with the with the uh, conversation at the bench, and kind of may take a little wind out of the sails. So, Shanaki now passes that over. Flamini now, like to see him light the lamp tonight. He's had a great game here in front of the hometown crowd tonight. You know, he had, that young man had to be very excited about it. Here's a shot. Oh, great save by Lundquist there. He kick saves that out. Denying Flamini there. River Kings pick it up in the corner. Flamini pursues it again. Comes out. Shonick, he's going to have to hustle now. And break away. And a great save there by the River Kings goaltender. And a tripping call to back it up now. As Hartley gets dumped, goaltender to the bench. Six man on for the attackers. And here we come, number 16, Utech in with an attack on. And he's dumped. No call there. Ducks will touch the puck with 7.46 remaining. River Kings will be going back on the power play. Should be a two-man advantage there for a minute and seven seconds. <laughs> Referee and linesman to the scorer's table. Coach Quarter's talking to the referee now, getting an explanation about what happened. Penalty box for the visiting team is getting crowded. But don't worry if need be, we can bring him to folding a chair. <laughs> Penalty shot here now. Utech skates that in now. Let's see what he can do. What the young man can do here. Brings to the net. Forehand. Saved by Lundquist. 
Well, disappointing he wasn't able to connect on there, but still the, you know, shows a lot about that young man's work ethic to be able to uh, hang with that play originally and, uh, and earn that penalty shot right. So Wisconsin Dells Duck player number 13 picks up the penalty for tripping. So a two-man advantage for a minute and seven seconds. This really puts the River Kings in a great position. The Ducks are kind of painting themselves in a the corner now, being down that long, that, that many men for that long. It's going to make it much more difficult for them to come back. Ducks player tries to skate on the ice now. Now the bench calling for calling for the referee to come over. Folks, while well, all this gets sorted out, let's get your attention for just a moment. River Kings trainer John Eggy was inducted this month into the Wisconsin Rapids Lincoln High School Athletic Hall of Fame. Great announcement there about the River Kings trainer John Eggy getting inducted into the into the Hall of Fame. Time for the faceoff now. Krieger wins that. McCoy has it. He'll send it over. Steers got it. Sends that back. McCoy will block. Shot is blocked. Steers got it again, looking for an, a lane to shoot in. He'll get it to Jurgens. Jurgens takes the shot, kick save away. Steer will pick that up. Here comes Jurgens' shot again. Oh, nice save there by the goaltender. Steer still in control of it though. And this is good to see the River Kings taking a lot of shots. What you don't want to do on this on a two-man advantage is try to make the perfect play. Fire a lot in and pick up a rebound. There we go. Oh, and just missed the open side of the net there. Don't worry, though. They'll get another shot here. Steer has it. Passes that over now. McCoy's got it. He's at the top of the key. He'll get ready to send that over to Steer. Steer shoots that. Shot. Rebound. Save again. Lundquist is making a good statement here for himself. So, 12 seconds. Another save by Lundquist. Looks like the net may be knocked off the moorings there with nine seconds left to go in the first penalty. Minute two remaining in the second. Lundquist is really holding them in there. Six forty-eight remaining in the period. Be great to see the River Kings pick up one more here. Nine seconds to go on the first penalty. Comes out to Shawnee. Shawnee's got it near the blue line. He'll send it over to Utek. Utek. Utek's got it now. Works his way towards the net. Shot on goal. Lundquist saves it. Comes out. Utek picks it back up, looking for some help. Down in the corner now. Cook's got it. Shoots it through the crease. Nobody around. Back up to Utek here. Over now. Looks like Max Moore's got it. Check that. That's Zach Hartley. Back behind the net, Shawnee's got it. 25 seconds remaining in the penalty. Cook's got it, sends it in, blocked by the defense. They'll clear the zone. 20 seconds remaining in the penalty. Six minutes remaining in the third period. Shawnee picks it up. Just about 10 seconds left to go. Here on the power play. Flamini's got it now. He'll use a good speed coming down the boards. Tripped up. Coming down to the other end of the ice now. The goaltender will feed that to Jurgens, And the Ducks have killed that penalty off. Jurgens now flying through center ice. Starts to send that into the corners. Picked up by the Ducks player. Back out to center ice where Flamini's got it. He'll pass that over to Steer. Steer, waiting, waiting. Makes a play now as Jurgens has it. Jurgens tries to feed Flamini. Puck's too far in front of him. It'll go into the offensive zone. Cross the line for icing. 523 remaining in the third period. 28 shots on goal for the River Kings, 19 for the visiting Ducks. Faceoff will be in the far circle in the Duck zone. Check that in the River Kings zone. Flamini's been good on the faceoffs tonight, but he hasn't able to win that one. Comes out to the blue line, though, where Cook knocks it out of the zone. No, good job there. Utex got that now. He's all over him. 
River Kings will pick that up at center ice. They'll start to send it back down now. Here comes UTEC again. Holding, holding. Isn't able to get much on that shot. Play comes to an end. Just over five minutes to go in the third period. Both teams will make a line change here. Yeah, as the game starts to get a little later and a little later, you start to see a little more frustration on the Ducks bench. Uh, you know, they they uh, they lost pretty handily last night. And, it appears that they're on their way to that happening again tonight, but they're charging into the offensive zone now. They'll get a shot on goal. That's steered aside by the goaltender. River Kings will bring that up and out of their zone. Nice feed pass there to number 25. So let's see if he can do something with it. <clears throat> Can't get it past the defender, but he does manage to center. It's knocked down into the corner. Back behind the net now. In pursuit there, McDonald. Proster touches the puck now. The River Kings will pick up a penalty, it looks like. A little dispute back behind the net. Line's been busy talking to people now. Everything's fine, Linesman. Don't worry. Everybody's getting along just lovely. So the momentum for the game has definitely swung the River Kings way. And you can start to see the, the Ducks are frustrated. River Kings number 25 sell. He'll have an opportunity to take a break here for two minutes it looks like. Sell's a great young man, had an opportunity to spend some time with him this summer. And if you ever get a chance to play golf with him, I'll tell you, that kid can really hit the woods. Two minutes for roughing to sell. The good news is, Jones, number eight, for the visiting Ducks, also picks up two minutes in the box. So perhaps the conversation between those two young men will continue over the glass. Four, four minutes and 31 seconds left in the period. Some conversation now between the, uh, the backup goalie and Shaunakee for the River Kings and scores! Krieger buries that one! What a beautiful goal. He got the puck centered out of the corner to him, and he knocked that one straight in. What a beautiful shot. 5-1 River Kings. And I think it's officially duck season. That was, a, uh, that was a highlight reel goal right there, folks. You'll probably see that one again on our production here. What a great goal. Okay, face off now. Max Moore to take the draw. Ducks will win that. Max Moore comes out ahead, though. Into the corner. Goaltender Lundquist sends that up along the boards. Comes down along the near boards now, just in front of the River Kings bench. Picked up by number 20. That's Milius. Milius passes to Milius. We have two Milius. Older brother and younger brother. Blair's got it now, back behind the net. <clears throat> 3.55 left to go in the period. Ducks player is all over him. Matching penalties have one minute and 10 seconds remaining on him. Oh, out in front now for the Ducks player. He takes a shot on goal, easily steered aside by the River Kings goalie. Back behind the net now, Ducks still controlling it. Into the far corner, up along the far half boards. Checked there by Max Moore, and that'll lead to a turnover. Here comes Moore with the puck now, now along the far boards. Milius is with him. Slashed on the play there. I'm not sure why they haven't called that. He clearly hit the stick, but okay, fine. Over to Steer now, Steer, puck comes outside of the zone. He'll carry it in along the far boards, looking for a shot. Can't shoot it, can't feed it to anybody because he's covered up. 
And now the net comes off the moorings once again with 3.05 remaining. A lot of conversations between the Ducks players and the officials. Doug number five for the Ducks, Patton. Just a little something to say to one of the River Kings players. And now he accidentally runs into him. Completely accidental. Thirty-four seconds remaining in the matching minors. Neither team's really had a good shot on goal here lately. Down into the corner now, Flamini's battling. Tied up in the corner still. Now out along the half boards, Ducks bring that out. That's number 11, Marks. He'll pass that, try to get it by Big Jurgens. That's not too easy to do. And the River Kings will pick that up. Here comes Jordan Steer. Marks hacks him a little bit to try and get the puck away, unsuccessfully. Shot it on goal. That one steered aside easily. Covered up now by the River Kings goalie. 2.29 remaining in the third. Matching minors are over now. Next home game will be November 5th. Folks, don't forget to uh, make time out of your schedule to come down and check out the River Kings. It's a great night of family fun. and It's some very high-level hockey for these young men. So... If you like to see a lot of uh, a lot of intensity and a lot of goals, this is a team for you to come watch. That's 13 goals in the last two games so far. With two minutes and 15 seconds left to go in this one, we might add to that. Feeds it out of the corner, up to Shawnee now at the point. Down along the, the half boards. Now he's taken out. Ducks will pick that up, start to bring that out with 2:05 left to go. Backhand it over to the Ducks player. Shot through the crease. Nothing happening there. River Kings player falls down. He's unable to make a play, and McDonald almost sends the River King, the Ducks player, into the River Kings bench. So here's a two on a two on one for the River Kings. Shot, rebound. Nothing happening there. Lundquist made a good save. He gave up a big rebound. We just weren't able to get to it. Seems to be a little uh, conversation on the far side of the ice right now. River Kings aren't able to get to that. Ducks player comes back to the bench now. And, Minute 28 to go. Line change in progress for the River Kings. Way to finish a check there. Polamari really got hold of him. He's banging the body around out there, letting people know he's there. And the Duck player seems to be injured off of that last check. Shot on goal there, steered aside. Game's getting very physical now. Oh, Max Moore just uh, looked like he took a slash to the face there. Slash or high stick of some kind. That looked to uh, that looked to be a pretty uh, illegal play. He's up and he's okay though. Skating back to the bench, folks. He's a hockey player. Glad to see he's all right. And a high sticking call. So number 15 Richardson for the for the Dells Ducks picks up a two minute minor for high sticking with 56 seconds to go. 5-1 lead for the River Kings, so I would say Richardson's night is done. Pass now over to Jurgens. Shoot, rebound, scores! Jurgens shot that puck in, and it looked like Palomari may have knocked in the rebound. Great job there. 6-1 River Kings. That's got to make the hometown fans happy here. River Kings start to wear out those boards.
52 seconds remaining in there. That'd be a power play goal for us. I believe that's the first power play goal of the, se of the evening. So, Art approves. Back behind the net now, under a minute to play. They did give Jurgens that goal. Milius now brings it up. Big check there. And puck goes in. The puck dribbles up and into the net. Now there's a little bit of a disagreement back behind the net. Milius has somebody down there. And it looks to be a little bit of a Donnybrook. Everybody's got a dance partner, except the goaltenders. At this point, the River Kings really need to uh, to stay, uh, to get out of this. There's no need to take a chance on an injury. They've already got this game well in hand. However, good to let them know that, that uh, they're not going to be pushed around. Ducks now work to pull one of the River King players off one of their teammates. I'm not sure that's legal. Polamari cheering the crowd on now. He's happy. Milius is happy. Everybody in the Ducks, uh, everybody on the Ducks side of the bench is not happy, but the River Kings side, the hometown team, looks to be pretty happy. Okay, finally now back to center ice. Looks like this worked out that the uh, River Kings are going to end up with a power play here. Max Moore in to take the draw. He'll win that easily. Jurgens picks that up in his own zone. Pass that over to pa uh, Proster. He's been looking for the puck. Shot it on that. Good shot there. Good save by Lundquist. Rebound comes out of the corner. 15 seconds left to go. Jurgens here looking for another shot. Let's see if he can bury it. He could potentially be one of the stars of the game tonight. There's a shot on goal. Goes wide. Back to the zone where Jurgens picks it up. Just inside the blue line now. Looking, looking. Shot. Saved by the goalie. Up in the air. Hits the netting and they'll call the uh, they'll call the play with less than one second left to go. We appreciate you all watching tonight and hope that you've enjoyed our broadcast. Face off one by the River Kings. There's the final buzzer, final score. River King seven, visitors, visiting ducks, one. one. Two or three stars. All right, if you hang with us just a minute, folks, we're gonna get you to the three stars of the game here as the River Kings celebrate their home opener. Great crowd in the building tonight. So it's good to see that the hometown team is able to delight the fans. They'll start to skate the center ice now, where they'll gonna, they're going to go ahead and thank the uh, thank the fans. And there they do so. Great job by the River Kings there tonight. 23 shots on goal for the River Kings. I don't know that that's accurate. I thought that they had more than that. I thought they were up over 30, but it's okay. Coming down to the corner now. River Kings will thank the fans here. Rowdy into the glass there. And let's see if we've got three stars selected yet. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's star players of the game. Our third star player of the game wears number 10, Jordan Steer. All right, Jordan Steer gets named one of the players of the game. Our second star player of the game is number seven. Harold Jurgens picks up the star, uh, uh, star of the game. And our uh, first star player of the game, number 12, Cole Krager. And the number one star of the game, number 12, Cole Krager. All right. 
We thank you all very much for joining us. We'll see you when we broadcast the next game November 5th here from the Southwood County Recreation Center. For all the folks on the broadcast crew, I'm Paul Kennedy. Thank you and have a great night.